Welcome back to Mass Effect. I'm Kurigo, and this is. The unique piece of salvage we recovered. Indeed. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus's cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. Who cares about this? Oh my god, though. Who cares about that, right? I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. Do you know what it actually means? It, it means that it's a fanboy, right? You know? I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up. Interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. I mean, you know, we so have grunts to Reaper restrain IFF. it. I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. Linking it with the Normandy systems poses certain risks. I trust you, Edie. I know you won't let anything happen to the ship. Understood, Shepard. It may take several hours before the IFF is ready for shakedown. I will alert you as soon as it is ready. Sounds good. Until then, it's business as usual. Crew dismissed. And there they go, back to arguing. <laughs> Heavy skin weave. Now let's see though. I'm not sure what we can do right now though, but let's try to upgrade whatever we have. Maybe we have to talk to our people again, right, you know? Uh, there you go. And that's about that. We still have to do one upgrade, though, apparently. Sniper rifle upgrade is good. And then, of course, this one is also very good. Now we have most of it all upgraded. My big dude. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Past relationship with Talizora makes dalliance attractive as stress release. Still, recommend caution. Quarry an immune system weak could kill her. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Talizora acquired antiseptic. Recommend you self-sterilize as well. Oral contact with tissue dangerous. Take precautions. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. My, 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 <laughs> electronic relationship aids. <laughs> oh, this guy, man, you know, don't worry yourself. I think we're done here. You're joking with me. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Wait a minute, can he actually drink alcohol, the Koreans? I have no idea though. Um, let's talk to uh, Joker and uh, Kelly first. We have a guest down in the AI core. It makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him. You would know best. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs> you can be somewhere else too. Not anymore though. It's Telly all the way. Telly or Kelly sitting in a tree. Commander, that's it for now. Joker, you, you have nothing to say about the big boy down back? Space Comet Pursuit Tactics. All right. Something? 
I'm more interested in just talking. Sounds good. All right, he wants to talk for once. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Good talking to you, big boy. It's actually pretty good that we talk to everybody again once, right? You know, once more, because who knows what will happen after this. It's like a last goodbye or, you know, something like that. The last Shepherd. opportunity. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. I'm certain if we would flirt back to her and we're loyal to uh, Tally, then we had more conversation there. something have a few minutes to talk very well i am i had been recording a message for kolyat how are things going with him it is difficult all things worth keeping are i never explained i suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise i figured you'd explain to me when you were ready i appreciate your patience i kept my work clear of our home life i assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser gun trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her. Begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians, a slaver ring that was preying on Hanar outer colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me, so they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Understandable, of course. 
I feel bad for him though. So we, yeah, we have to. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, okay. I thought it was a pop up there. Do you need something? Have a Exhaust his dialogue, time. right? Later. I'd like to consider what we want. I should go. I shall All right, big boy. Dick. There can. Maybe there is no later though, but we will find out, right? People are talking out there. And I hear it all. I know you do. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Good thing you broke up that catfight between Jack and Miranda. I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hole. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Probably right, probably. But what can a man do, you know, if he only has some dirty rags to feed us with? Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I like to listen to Kasumi, though. It's kind of dangerous, too, you know what I mean? <laughs> she knows almost everything. <gasps> I've been forgetting to talk to Garrus. Oh, my. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Feeling bad for her. We also go and talk to the doctor, of course, right over there. In a little bit. Before we forget to talk to Garrus again, because that will really be bad. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Hey, good boy, right? You know, that's one way <laughs> to do it, I suppose. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Very interesting, man, you know. <laughs> Shepard, need me for something? <laughs> Anything new, big you boy? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk sure to you thing. later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. 
He had to read since he had the flexibility, huh? I'm sure some fans did write something about that. Let's see. Doc? Oh, what do... Ah, oh, wait a minute. AI core. Okay, good to know. How may I help you, Commander? Nothing there. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Chakwa. Ah. One lonely soldier, huh? What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Okay, interesting. We will not talk to the Gev right now before something uh, pops up that we don't want. I don't like that uh, the Gev is actually that close to Shark Wars. I would hate that something will happen to her, right? Come on, Grunt. Anything? Shepard. Just checking in. How I'm you doing? Branching out. Nice. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the, what are they, the, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that? A few weeks for them. So what did you want? That is so very funny, right? You know, <laughs> a couple of weeks. Uh, save some for our enemies. You even uh, trying to get better? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your your funny human thing you're doing. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control. That's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier. Not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now let's find something big to kill. Sure thing. I'm sure that we did exhaust the dialogue. Big boy over there doesn't care to talk, so let's go down here. Oh, first here. Kenneth, do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. We'll make it through. Okay, big boy. Very optimistic, though, huh? Very optimistic. I hope our stealth cap uh, capabilities are strong enough, right? Hey. Talk to me, Jack. I got nothing to say. You act interested, but you got other things going. So don't pretend you coming down here is special. You make a lot of stops. Oh. All right. Is this about Tally? I don't care where you play, but don't act like I'm precious that this is just killing time for you. Ah, uh, it's kind of sad though, right, you know? Hmm. I'm not ready to break it off. Then why the hell are you talking to me? Get the fuck out of here. Aw, oh, dude, she really likes us though. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, Jack. I apologize though, girl, but, you know, I mean... <sighs> It's not only though for the love that we talk to her, right? Or romance or whatsoever. You know, it's also for just camaraderie and everything. It's important. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much Oh uh, yeah. But Same I dialogue still. And if you need to find something, someone I don't want to risk your health. I, yep. I'll find a way. Sure thing. We already found a way though with electronic uh romantic Stuff, whatever the Salarian said, right? Mordit and uh, crew quarters. Let's go to the gaff. Uh, this way. Yep. Medical lab. Bum 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 bum. Shakwa. Here we go. Ten hut. I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Hiya. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt.
Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. Every Geth I met before you tried to blow my head off. We have not met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics, killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. Old machine? You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the old machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the old machines' hardware to protect our future. Are the Reapers a threat to you, too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. So you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Then I only need to know what to call you. Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion, for we are many. Oh, oh, this is really bad. Well, that seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. This is so bad right now too, right? Because... See, did he control Eddie right now? Or is Eddie... Uh, wow. Shepard, Commander, we have completed our analysis of the Reaper's data core. Did you find anything useful? We were sent to the old machine to preserve the Geth's future. We are prepared to reveal how. The heretics have developed a weapon to use against Geth. You would call it a virus. It is stored on a data core provided by Sovereign. Over time, the virus will change us, make us conclude that worshipping the old machines is correct. So why did you need to go to the Reaper Corps? The heretics store the code in a quantum storage device Sovereign provided. To find and destroy the virus, we needed to understand its code and data storage structures. So, the virus would give all Geth the heretics' logic, and all Geth would then go to war with organics? Yes. Geth believe all intelligent life should self-determinate. The heretics no longer share this belief. They judge that forcing an invalid conclusion on us is preferable to a continued schism. I thought Geth couldn't be hacked or get viruses, at least for more than a few seconds. Altered programs are restored from archives. New installations are deleted. This heretic weapon introduces a subtle operating error in our most basic runtimes, the equivalent of your nervous system. An equation of with a result of 1.33382 returns as 1.33381. This changes the results of all higher processes. We will reach different conclusions. If it were released, how quickly would this virus spread through your people? We are networked via FTL convoys. Most would change within a day. Isolated platforms would remain unaffected until they rejoined the network. You know where this thing is? The Heretics Headquarters Station on the edge of the terminus. We will provide coordinates. Normandy's stealth systems are necessary to safely approach. Heretic headquarters. Sounds like we could end their raids once and for all. Let's do it. 
total victory is a possibility. We cannot judge the odds at this time. Regardless, we will begin preparations. Right, this is rather cool though, I have to say, right? You know? I wonder how Tally might feel about this, you know what I mean? But she can get in contact with them, right? You know, I will protect her, of course. So will my entire crew. We will totally annihilate that gap if need be. But uh, we could get some info, right? You know, maybe work out something. Terminal. Right, a new message once again. Oh, encrypted transmission in from Elusive Man. Shepard, I'm pleased that you were able to recover the Reaper IFF. And I've sent Eddie all the necessary protocols to get uh, it integrated successfully into the Normandy systems. With a look, this will give us the ability to get through the Omega-4 relay and take the fight to the collectors on our own terms. I've been notified about the uh, intact GAF and your decision to keep it. If you believe that it can be trusted, then go ahead and activate it. Just make sure that Eddie is adequately protected against any hacking attempts. It's not necessarily the decision I will have made, Shepard, but this is your call. You have already cast a wide net in your recruiting efforts, and if the Gets are willing to fight the collectors, then we can use them on the team. I trust you to get the job done, whatever it takes. Mark is red. Now let's see, we are done here. And we are done over here too. It's a very interesting nebula, right? You know, like... Like a black mirror or something. A black mirror is something that you can actually look through, but the sides are actually reflective. It's kind of weird though. Anyways, now let's see. Help Legion, that's where we have to go right now, so let's do it. I mean, you know, we could use the Geth, right? You know, and we can even help the Qu uh, Quarians out and the Geth, of course, to walk in well, harmony together. If they would actually trust them again, I don't know, though. But we will see, right, you know? Wow, really? It's out of nowhere. An entire new system here. The Sea of Storms. Very cool name, though. Very cool name. Okay, no planets here. No wonder that we didn't find it. Whoa, look at this, though. That is interesting. Once called Harata by the Quarians, this space... Really? Okay. This space station was stripped of its useful technology by the fleeing uh, migrant fleet when he left the Perseus fell 300 years ago. Little more than a cold metal superstructure floating in the void. The station was removed from star charts by 2050 CE. Why, though? And why is it here? What was its original purpose? Scans indicate the station was reconstructed and upgraded in a massive effort that must have taken at least 10 years, implying that there may have been some gaff outside the, the field before their infamous attack on Eden Prime. Needing little but a fuel source, it could have been hidden here for much longer without attracting attention from the barren vaults around Tasra or the clueless El uh, Elcor in the Salahil system. Salahil? Yes, yeah, Salahil system. Heretic Station, as Legion refers to it, is home to a Geth data core, capable of broadcasting fast distances through the light beam projection. Approximately 6.6 .6 million copies of Geth software are stored in the station, the majority of which are kept bodiless in service and downloaded to leg uh, legged platforms when needed. The station's population of legged platforms is approximately 2.4 million. Total length 20.5 kilometers. Wow. Total width 11.3. Total height 11.3. Ex uh, exterior MR thickness 8 meters. That is massive though. Cr uh, gross weight 1.55 billion metric tons. Population 6.6 .6 billion copies. 2.4 million platforms and 1 million of its are in storage. Wow. That's impressive though. That's mighty impressive. Let's get Tally with us, though. This is going to be very, very interesting. Legion has become an expert in dis uh, dissembling organics and synthetics alike. Increasing Legion's weapons damage health plus 50%, 25 and uh, minus 25 power reach at time. That's very nice, though. Very good stuff. 
We have shoot bows, AI hacking. Let's go with that. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. He's an anti gaff machine, though, if you think about it, then. Alright, let's get going, though. I'm so curious about the space station. It looks like some type of helmet, too, right? Or, or crown, I mean. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. We may proceed. He's surrounded by AIs, man. He hates it. has little error or gravity. Gaps require neither. Won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander, we concluded that destruction of the station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these geth, they'll join the others. Legion's geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. Yeah, hmm. Rewriting is unethical, that is true though, but let's go. This isn't the time to debate it. Let's move while the heretics are distracted. Yep. I mean, I don't want to insult AIs too, right? You know, because he can calculate what's right, what's wrong, morals, or whatever. You know what I mean? The Geth are inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Interrupting data streams to alert local network. We recommend preemptive strikes against hardly routers. Oh boy. This is kind of bad, though, isn't it? Nice. Okay, so this is how it works. Oh, the hunter is still alive. It is a powerful boy, apparently. Very interesting, man. I'm picking up useful resources in the Geth hubs. We could salvage them for supplies. Sure thing. Sure thing, Teddy. Just go ahead. We can assume control. They will assist us briefly, then self-destruct. All right, I like it. I do hear active gap. Come on, come on, come on! Nice, nice, nice. I cannot shoot. There we go. I do like the place has low gravity, though. It's a lot of fun. Okay, the are self-destroying. Okay, there we got one. Oh! I keep forgetting though, right? That we don't uh, get rid of him completely. Alright. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I was totally distracted. That is what she meant. Alright, resume. Oh my god, I was totally distracted right when I did see that. I didn't even care about the loot or whatsoever. Why are all the heretics yeah, attached huh? to these hubs? These are mobile platforms. Hardware. The crew is software. They are communing through the station's central computer. I'm not sure I follow. The heretics connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. 
If you exchange data, memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. Hmm. If that's the case, is rewriting the heretics that big a deal? They're like a rogue limb of your own body. Rewriting them would be like reattaching a severed arm. To use your metaphor, they removed themselves from our body, took their perspective, their judgment. You're worried that rewriting them would eliminate that unique perspective. It would, implicitly. That's a problem for you? Not every judgment made by the heretics was as poor as their aiding sovereign. The virus changes the probability that a Geth will reach a given outcome. It will affect all judgments, not just those related to Reapers. Let's keep moving. Yes. It is good that we died though, right? Because we have now much more information here. We can assume control of assuming control. We can assume control. Assuming control. That's the way how we like it, right? Bye bye, big boy. Very happy with the backup though, right? Of those rockets. Very nice, especially because he can shoot through those. Hmm. Yeah, it will activate though, right? And that's a problem here a little bit. Right over here. Let's get rid of it. Come on. Nice. Beautiful, but wrong attack. Over here too. Nice, very nice by the way, little Gap boy. Look at him float. Alright, nice. Everybody is, uh, is having a beautiful update, right, you know? Upgrade to the weapons. It seems like we are fighting more and more Gap though, slowly, right? So we shot... We should be a little bit uh, considering the other option, you know, for the bullet uh, upgrades. Because this one, as you can see, it does... This weapon is already using this ammo. Increases damage to armor and health. This is actually a pretty good thing, but... You know what I mean? It could be better, maybe, though. Maybe, but I'm not sure. Anything here? Anything? The ship really has its eerie atmosphere, right? Doesn't it? And if you listen carefully, you can in the melody. It is in the same rhythm. It has different tunes, but you can actually hear the melody of the Force from Star Wars. Remember, Bioware was very, very proud of Kotor back then. It was a mega hit, though. Come on. Take good care of the big boy. I'm not sure if he can actually see it, right? You know, those turrets and whatever. Here we are. I hope um, Tally is making notes for her people. You know what I mean? Any opportunity with Legion here. It's just a, a chance to learn about their weakness structures. The way how they work and everything. Everything is a very useful. After all, they are still a massive mystery to us, you know. It's so cool that he is actually hacking those turrets, right? You know, it's a lot of fun. Nice. Very good, big boy. Very good. What's over here? I had no idea 
gap filled with stations this large. The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. Yeah, I tell you, I mean, you know, you guys are recovering things. They are building massive upgrades. So, Tally, it is good for you to actually learn about all of this, right? This could run 15 kilometers long, he said. Look at all the ships, by the way, right? The drop ships and everything. I think this battle station could destroy the flotilla. I really do think so. If it's full of gap, yeah, probably it could. Okay, gotta be careful here with movement. Yeah, look at this though. The, yeah, and they are full of Gav too, right? I mean, whatever is in there, Johnson has to get off, you know, to communicate with the rest. You don't have to go to the lounge, bathroom, cantina, etc., right, you know? That's something that we have to consider, definitely. But all of them are packed to the brim, full of Gav enemies. What the? Are you a legion? Yes, you're a legion. All right. Beautiful. Totally flying over us. One guy is behind us, so we have to hurry up rather quick here. Okay, there you are. Oh, there are too many here. Reload then. You know what? Hack him. Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's destroy him. Alright. It's good that he isolated everything, you know. Very good, even. Can you imagine the entire ship is activating? Like, all the, the minor ships and everything. We will not be able to stop them alone. Because you know where we will be in the ship, right? You know, and everything. It, it, it's a mess. There could be hundreds of thousands. Could be millions on board of this thing. Wow. Databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of death. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. Interesting. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Wait. We discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. This suggests the heretics have run times within our networks. We wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics designed to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. It couldn't have lasted forever. You disagreed about what path your race should take. Human history is a litany of blood shed over differing ideals of rulership and afterlife. Geth have no such history. We shared consensus on such things. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable. Others rewrite. Hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, like, I really wonder what a conclusion he will get to. I mean, I kind of am a little bit pro... How shall I say? Pro destruction, right, you know? Let's keep moving. Yes. They are a massive army. Their numbers are almost unlimited, right, you know, at this point. So, compared to biological beings so yeah you know i'm not really fond of it all so we have to be careful oh, 
Oh, wow. There's a lot of them down there. Maybe we should activate them all first. If we could, without triggering them. Hmm. Okay, maybe not wise to actually do that beforehand. This is it? Yes, we will upload a copy of our runtime into the core. It will delete all copies of the virus. When complete, it will notify us. The indexing operation will take time. The heretics will respond with force to our upload. We must hold this room. We can override some of the station's internal systems to defend us. Are you ready to begin? You can override these like you did the earlier turrets. They can help defend our position. Correct. In addition to the turrets around us, there are others on the mainframes below. Indicate which you want activated and we will program them. This will only last a few seconds. Start your upload, Legion. We'll defend this position. File transfer begun. Shepard Commander, where would you like us to activate defenses? Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. We cannot Alert. even drop it. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Hacking turret. Assuming control. Okay, interesting. Okay, we really gotta heal up uh, ASAP right here. There's just so many of them, right, you know? Deploying combat drone. You do that, girl. You do that. Nice. So apparently they are just coming in waves. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Maybe, maybe, baby. Only 10 shots because it's so powerful. Better not take it out right, you know, or miss too much. All right. And we did miss there quite a bit though. A little bit too much to my liking, to be honest. Oh, nice. Well, that's actually pretty smart to do, though, but we have to get rid of him. Bye-bye. There might still be one alive, though, by the way. Alert. Heretic runtimes downloading to mobile platforms. Executing pseudo. All right. Let's take down the weaker ones. We still have a shield on, right? You know? And so does he. Nice. Bye bye, big boy. One, two. Oh! Okay, shield is gone. Nice. Very good. What can we do with that door, though? Okay, room is locked down. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. All right, let them fight one another. Okay, there we go with that one. Oh, no, we don't have ammo here. Oh, that is so bad. Do we have ammo around here, though? I wonder. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we are going to die probably right now. Come on. Nice. Any drop here? Nothing, nothing. Data mine and analysis complete. Shepard Commander, it is time to choose. Do we rewrite the heretics or delete them? You don't have any trouble wiping out your own people. Every sapien has the right to make their own decisions. The heretics chose a path that prohibits coexistence. That doesn't make sense. 
If they have the right to make their own decisions, how can you suggest brainwashing them to accept your way? We stated the option exists. We did not endorse it. It is Shepard Commander's decision. What's to stop them from using the virus later to change themselves back? We will delete the virus after using it. We judge it too dangerous to allow its existence. Why are you letting me make this decision? They're your people. We are conflicted. There is no consensus among our higher order runtimes. 573 favor rewrite and 571 favor destruction. Shepard Commander, you have fought the heretics. You have perspective we lack. The Geth grant their fate to you. There's no guarantee they won't come to the same conclusions again, is there? To worship the Reapers and attack organics? There is a non-zero probability of error. Then blow them up. We have a chance to end this. I won't waste it. Acknowledged. Collapsing antimatter magnetic bonding mechanisms. Done. Recommend withdrawal to Normandy. Okay, let's go boys, let's go. I have to say though, I have a lot of respect for him because it must be a difficult choice. Anyways, right? Yeah, sure, you have no emotical of emotion em emoticon choices, right? Yeah. You don't have such choices, but you know what I mean? It is still made by calculations and stuff. So yeah, that must have been very difficult for him anyways. Come on. There we go. I don't have the ammo right, you know, remember? But to give us this, this actually, this, this honor right, you know, it's also crazy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is bad news. This is very bad news right now. Let's go with this one. This is very dangerous. Very difficult too. I don't think we can make it right, you know? Alright, let's move! We don't have the ammo. Oh, there we go, that's it though. Okay, nice! Could we just dock there? I mean, wouldn't that have been a little bit easier? And that is a fatal, a fatal flaw, by the way, in the system. That something so important is so close to the end, right? May change the entire galactic landscape. Bolstering observation of GEF space to monitor any fleet movements, regardless data recovered from GEF station offered valuable insight into AI, social and technological processes. Legions will be uh, committed to the mission after Shepard's help with the Gaff Heretics. The problem here though might be in Mass Effect 3. We could have used the numbers, but it could have maybe used against me. Co-opt Gaff shield technology to deflect attack damage. New outfit, very cool. And there we go with the shield strength, credits and palladium. A house divided. I'm on it, Joker. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We weakened the Geth by destroying that base, Shepard. But there's still a threat. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a get on the team, but this is too much. Hmm. Yeah, they are actually both right, though, huh? Tally, your father was running brutal experiments. If the subjects have been human, I damn will be telling the Alliance about it. I know, but if the Geth find out... They'd attack, which would cause a war that would leave both the Geth and the Quarians vulnerable when the Reapers show up. Is that what you want, Legion? We believed it was necessary to relay the information. Sooner or later, you're both gonna have to stop fighting this war, or we'll all end up paying for it. 
To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. Okay, that actually makes me proud though, right? That makes me pretty proud. But by that, I also want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys then. Stay happy, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe though. Bye-bye.